Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> and on this episode of the Dan Dawson Show, let's talk about the Uvalde shooting. I wanted to wait until more uh, facts came out, or at least leads as to what was going on. Before I even start, though, let me say I, I my heart goes out to those parents. <clears throat> I can't imagine how they feel. When I first got back down here, to Texas uh, me and my dad were sitting out talking one day um, this is the day remember I told you guys I went down to get some hogs off the property um, and he said you know I'm glad all my kids are home now and I'm I'm hopeful I don't outlive any of you guys and I was like wow uh, no parents should ever have to feel the loss of a child. That's bad. Um, I do have a friend though. She turned me on to this network. I know Uvalde's only like four or five hours down the road. It's called the Angel Moms Network. Uh, they do really good work. Whenever I had a friend, I've, I've had a couple now that uh, have lost kids. I, I recommend them to the Angel Mom Network when they're ready. They have very good support network. And uh, if you want, DM me, uh, message me um, on my Facebook. That way I see it because YouTube is doing something funny where I'm not really seeing my messages and a lot of my comments. I'm not seeing them. So and then I'll go back and I look under another part and they're there. And I'm like, whoa, comments on videos from years ago. So make sure if you want to get in contact with them. Either hit me up on Facebook or you can go straight and just look at them yourself. But very good network. So my heart goes out to those parents. Um, so what we're learning is the shooter, whose name shall go unmentioned, had a lot of trouble and a lot of early warning signs. Mental health problems. I saw a video with one of the kids who knew him said he, he liked abusing animals. There's reports coming out that he... Him and his friends like to drive around at night with BB guns and shoot at people at random. And he would start fights with his own friends, cut his face, all, all that stuff. So we'll see. I don't know how true that is. What you have is the mother's boyfriend saying he was very violent towards the mother and the grandmother. And the mother saying, no, we had a great relationship. And no, you cannot convince me you had a great relationship i'm sorry you're what's called a blind mother um it's one thing i give my mother she was never blind to any of the things her kids were capable of getting in all kinds of trouble but um except for me because i was a good kid because you know those middle kids are always the good kids the um but what's really disgusting me is democrats didn't even wait week or two for these parents to mourn. I don't even say Democrats. I'll say the woke. Because really haven't seen many Democrats say anything except they give their blessings and their heart goes out to them. But these wokesters, man, they just jumped right in. Biden gets back. The first thing it says, we need Common sense gun control. Or what is common sense gun control? Even in the strictest parts of the United States, New York, California. If you'll see what three of the last four big shootings happened in those three states where you can barely even own a gun, a gun. Do I have all the answers? No, but I know at a time like this, When parents are grieving, when Biden made those comments, some of the parents hadn't even found out the fate of their kids. So for me, that filled me with a lot of anger, which is why you didn't get a video right away. But it's like every day I decided to go and do the video because it's like every day they're angering me. Beto O'Rourke comes out the day after the shooting, a couple of days later, where Governor Greg Abbott is holding a press conference at the school 
And he's telling parents about all these resources and things he's set up, that, uh, any help they need, they can get, and, you know, offering his condolences and, you know, just really kind of, hey, we have this, this outreach program, we have that one, uh, people will be contacting you, and here comes Beto. You did nothing. We need gun control. This, this dude, I'm so... It's really, I don't have words for it. To me, that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. You could hear parents in the background yelling, that's disgusting. You did hear one parent, oh, let him speak. I guess she was a parent. I don't know. But she probably already had her kid back. I don't know. That was just disgusting. Uh, a man like that. Shouldn't be dog catcher in a state, no less as governor. So that may work in L.A. and New York, Beto. It doesn't work in Texas. Now, I, I've seen the point spread open up from when he did that to now it's looking like he might have to just step down his race for governor because the point spread opened up so much for Abbott. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> I think he's up over 11 points, which means doom. Or you, you don't recover from that in a political race. Then you have former President Barack Obama, who at an event that was supposed to be about these innocent kids, made it about George Floyd. What are you thinking? You're going to compare, I'm sorry, a career criminal. A man who held a, a, a gun to a pregnant lady's belly, a, a drug addict, two innocent seven, eight, nine year olds. Wow. What a piece of shit. And you guys have watched enough of my shows. You know, I, I didn't really have anything against Obama. But this, dude, that's just disgusting. And then you have to wrap it all up, not to wrap it up, because I'm going to come back and make another point here. Oprah Winfrey, not Oprah Winfrey, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. I apologize, Oprah. Come out on The View and say, if one person says, if one of these Republicans says, you're in our hearts, I'm going to punch somebody in the face. Whoopi, you're 80 years old, can barely walk, have to wear, what do you call those things, tunics or giant clothes. You can't even sit at your own chair without a footstool. Who are you going to punch, old lady? You mean your hired goons, your security guards are going to punch somebody in the face? Then she goes on to compare it to abortion. Which you would think I'd be mad about that, but I'm not because she actually made a very good point. She said, well, do, 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 and, but I can't have an abortion and you're governing my uterus. So let me get this right. Us conservatives and pro second amendment people are the ones who don't care about kids. Last time I checked, um, my hands are clean of blood. My guns haven't killed anybody. They haven't killed any, any kids. Speaking as a civilian, speaking as a civilian, Oprah, I keep calling her Oprah. I don't know why that's happening. Whoopi Goldberg wants women to be able to murder their children up to and after the point of birth. Meaning take a newborn baby, rip that baby apart, suck out his brains, toss it in a box, probably sell his parts and forget about it. So let's make that comparison, Whoopi. I don't, I don't mind making that comparison at all. You also had Steve Kerr. <gasps> Damn it, somebody do something and gun control. And blah, blah, blah. Like a whiny bitch. This is the same man that a few years ago when the whole George Floyd thing was going on said we got to take these armed police out of schools. We have to get rid of the abolish the police. He said defund. We all know he meant abolish. 
And now that kids aren't safe, you want to come back and say gun control, which is the I, I bring all this up because they're making my point. What do I keep saying on here? They don't care about your safety. Look at Rashida Tlaib. She said clearly what they're thinking. AOC says it all the time. They want to close down all federal prisons, release mentally ill people. And what do they say? Look how many people are mentally ill. Guess what? They can still cause damage. I do believe it's been determined of the four mass shootings were four, four, all had a history of mental illness and violent crime. And three took place in heavily gun controlled states. So maybe, just maybe, the answer isn't less police. It's not less protection for our kids. It's not emotional, screaming lunatics ranting about shit that doesn't work just because they're rich and they already have armed security. But to protect our average citizen out here who doesn't have that security. I was actually on uh, Facebook last night and I'm thinking about posting this. I might. Um, I might post it on the Dan Dawson show. I'll, I'll have to decide. If I do it, it'll be up later today. We'll see. But I have friends who own firearms. I'll give up my firearm. Well, you're in Washington. You're going to have to give it up sooner or later anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But you're going to give up your ability to protect yourself. I'll give up my uh, 300 blackout. Like, that's really impressive. On a scope you haven't even zeroed yet, you're not hitting anything. <clears throat> and I informed them. It's like, no. They think assault weapons are all semiotic weapons. So get ready to give up your pistol, too. They'll go get a revolver. But they'll probably take those sooner or later, too. It's just all this, I don't want to say politicizing, evilness, evilness. I can't believe we have people in this country that cheer when a woman says she has an abortion. Now, I understand that's a very hard decision for a woman. But how hard is it when you get cheered for it? I can't believe that we have a former president who would praise George Floyd in comparison to Uvalde. How does that even come? And that would have never crossed my mind to say that. But it shows you the pure, unadulterated evil in this country that we live in. Now, you notice I didn't do any video clips or anything today. I just wanted to, to talk to you and let you know where I'm standing. And that's where I'm standing. We... I know I talk about civil war a lot. And like I said, I hope it's peaceful. If we have a figurehead president and if he does something and the states don't like it, they're just like, yeah, we're not going to do it, whatever. But it's really starting not to look like that because you can have political and philosophical differences and you'll be fine when you have a difference of morality. That's when things start to get a little out of hand. And I hate to say it, that's kind of where we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you tuned in to listen to me today. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and as always, especially in these days and times, keep your powder dry and do what you got to do.